Boxes on Abbas Hussein from behind the gloves. I'm here with Lee Salbi. Lee, we're here at the press conference, official press conference announcing your fight with um, Gradovic. Mm -hmm. Firstly, what have you been doing from the last time I saw you? Last time I saw you was at the Joe Brunk fight. Yeah. What have you been doing for the last couple well, of months? After, after the fight, I had the rest of the month off. I, I just rested and recovered like, from the training and, and the fight itself. Um, then I started taking back over in the gym. Got back to work, got myself in shape. I've, I've been out to LA for two weeks sparring. When I, when I went out there, they, as I was out there, they, they changed the date of the fight to May the 30th. Yeah. In my head, I was training for April the 25th, but they changed it. So. Was there any hindrance to you in regards to your training? Did you have to stop a little bit? Um, well, when I was in America, I, I just sparred every other day and like just ticked over on the, the days in between. Yeah. When I got home, I had a nice easy week then, recovered from the sparring, the, the flights and all that stuff. And then I got back to work. And, I can't, I'm in great shape now, I'm, I'm ready to fight. And your opponent, what do you make of Radovic? Because were you out there for the uh, Jason Vela's fight when he fought? Yeah, yeah. What did you make of that draw when he, when he Um, No way it was a draw. I think okay. Radovic won. I think he lost the first four rounds. Yeah. And like, in that fight, Vela showed up, showed up to beat him. He just didn't have the, the ring IQ to keep it up. Like, he outboxed him for the first four rounds and he started to fall apart. Maybe that's because Gradovich is a good fighter and the pressure got to him, maybe. Who knows? And what sort of threat does he bring to you like, when you see Gradovich as a fighter? Yeah. What sort of threat do you think he can possess to yourself? He's got a high work rate. Okay. He, he's aggressive, come forward, and constant pressure. But, um,. Since I broke onto the domestic scene my, my, when I won the titles, since then every every fight has been the same. They've been trying to pressure me, trying to trying to like, impose a high work rate on me, and I, I've, like I've, I've adapted, and so that's going to hold me in good stead for the fight. Because every fight I've had have been similar style to Gradovich. Okay, I wanted to ask you. Last time I spoke to you, I spoke to you after the Joe Brunk fight. You said you hadn't reached your highest level. First of all, what does that consist of? What's your highest level? Because uh, no, no one else, no one has got to see it at the moment. My coach has seen it. Oh, <laughs> a lot no, of my sparring partners. Like people but, um, outside the, outside the I, I haven't been able to showcase it on, on, on TV yet. But um, it, at my best, I'm, I'm, I, I think I'm very good. Good enough to become world champion and defender. Do you need to get to that level when you fight Gradovic on May um, 20th? If I am, you'll see a dev devastating performance and I'll, I'll put my name right in the mix with the, with the top featherweights in the world. And is this what you've been waiting for? This this stage, you know, May 30th, you're on probably one of the biggest cards yes, so far this year anyway. I'm on, I'm on a massive stage and hopefully I can showcase the, the, the best of my talents and be like a standout British fighter. If you win the title, what's the sort of next sort of steps? Is it hitting America? Is that the sort of no. when when I win the title? When, when I want to hopefully de def defend it in in Wales. Okay. Like like a homecoming defender in Wales, and then um, if, if, if a few like voluntary defences, I'll probably have a mandatory come up because the IBF is strict with the mandatories. Okay. Beat the mandatory challenger and then then go and venture up to America. What do you want to say to your fans who are going to be tuning in? What just, you just, just keep supporting me. I'm, I'm very grateful. I'm like, they, they're going to be through the fights. When, when it gets tough, I can hear them cheering. That's where you want. Ali, thank you very much for talking to the gloves.